we did it, y'all. This is a job that will dictate how our children are raised in this borough. Those were the two front runners in the tight Democratic primary race for Queens District Attorney last night. One camp declaring a win while the other is saying not so fast. In a statement, Melinda Katz, the Queensboro president with the backing of the Queens Democratic establishment, said in part, with such an important office at stake, every voice throughout the borough needs to be heard and every vote needs to be counted. With thousands of ballots left to count, every voter deserves to be heard. The margins are tight between progressive newcomer public defender Tiffany Caban and Katz. Keep in mind, there are still 3,400 absentee ballots that need to be counted. Nonetheless, the Caban camp is saying this race indicates a very significant shift in the Democratic Party in the largest and most diverse county in the country. Our community is really recognizing their, their strength in a way that, you know, a lot of places that we don't see. What we see is, is over time, you know, people get... Um, sort of a little bit numbed out. They think the political establishment kind of boxes them out and, and they can't make a difference. But we know now that that is not the case. While Katz had more support from labor unions and the Queens Democratic Party, Caban gained incredible momentum in just six months as the last one entering the race, even garnering endorsements from freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren.